Hey, thanks for watching today. I just wanted to go on the Chevrolet website, kind of show you guys a breakdown of how I was going to build my 2024 Silverado HD 2500. When I go through the build price here, I purposely had to select the 2500 HD because the trim level I'm picking. I don't want a 2500, I prefer a 3500, um, but I'll get to that. So right here, I'm just kind of showing regular cab, double cab, long bed, standard box, and crew cab long bed. I'm going to go with the standard bed because specifically I am going to be targeting the ZR2, which if you don't pick any of the prior size cab configurations, the ZR2 option doesn't come up as display. So right here you can see you got two different engine options, the 6.6 gas or the 6.6 Duramax. I'm going to go with the diesel just because I like the diesel trucks and you pay a little bit more, but that's my selection. The two trucks I've seen in person now is the Lakeshore Blue, and I believe it's the Sterling Gray Metallic. That's what I saw yesterday, and these both look awesome. They're both different. Uh, they're both nice in different ways, but anyhow, I, I really like those. Black just doesn't work for me in my lifestyle. I've had a ton of trucks that look like slate gray. That's also not bad. <clears throat> so that's the color I, I probably would choose. And once again, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Here are the two different rim options. So you have the AEV and then the standard rim. If you click on the AEV rim, it forces you to do the AEV package, which you can see here, it's not cheap, almost $9,200 or $9,100. But there's a lot that comes with this, <clears throat> as you can see. Some really nice uh, skid plates, and it looks like it's got some branded floor liners, and it gives you the premium tailgate. Um, exclusive AEV stamped front and rear bumpers, and you can kind of see the, the different uh, rim choices there. <clears throat> you only got one interior option. This is polarizing to a lot of people. Some people are not a fan of it. I've got mixed feelings. I like the touch and feel, but I've kind of got a little bit of mixed feeling on the piping in the seats. It's like a neon yellow or green. So these are some of the different package options. I will probably go with the fifth wheel prep just because I don't see the point of having a three quarter ton truck or a one ton truck. If you can't have a fifth wheel prep package, you, you need to have that, uh, that option. And then you see right here, there's the ZR2 uh, Bison edition. Then it just kind of goes through all the options specific to the AEV. And for those who are not aware of AEV, it's a pretty cool company in Wixom, Michigan, where they've been doing Jeeps and some off-road vehicles for quite some time. And it's really neat to see GM offering the AEV as a factory trim package now. And then this is just, I'm going to kind of call this in a lot of ways, almost like aftermarket accessories down here. Obviously, sunroof's not, but um, these are just kind of the... Um, the different uh, aftermarket options. Um, I was looking to see it automatically puts the diesel exhaust brake on and you, I don't think you can get the polished exhaust tip for the diesel but I did want to show you this. I thought this was a really interesting option here. Um, number one you can't get the exhaust tips but this right here this cold weather steering hose kit it looks like it's specific to the gas engine from what I was reading <clears throat> but I find it very interesting that GM is offering a heavy duty steering hose kit for extreme temperatures. I mean, it's nice that they offer that, but what does that say about the standard um, hose kit? Will it not hold up to some extreme conditions? I don't know, just something to think about. So there's the uh, kind of the end result, and it's actually, this is the exact package color combination of the truck I drove here about a month ago. Um, you can kind of see the, the specific bumpers and the cutaways. You lose the steps in the rear. Uh, with the AEV bumper, and then there's the AEV Bison specific rims, um, and then obviously there's the the side profile. I like that you get the the color on the rear tailgate too when you when you get the ZR2 package, and then that just kind of shows you the uh, the total here of I think it's right around ninety yeah ninety one thousand two hundred and twenty dollars. All right, now for comparison's sake, I'm going to do the exact same build, but in the GMC. And I think you guys are going to find it pretty interesting when you look at the pricing differences between these two trucks. So I have to go through and select the exact same cab and bed configuration as the Silverado, uh, or it will not allow you to pick the um, AT4X, which is GMC's version of the ZR2. So these trucks, my understanding, are the exact same truck, 
but one is just the GMC version. They both have the same suspension. Once again, picking the diesel uh, over the gas variant, uh, selecting that option. Also kind of interesting comparing the price of Denali Ultimate versus AT4X are pretty similar. And for me, uh, I love the Thunderstorm Gray. I've seen it in person. It looks so cool. It reminds you a lot if you've seen Toyotas. They've got like that cement matrix or whatever it's called. Um, I, maybe that's the color from the Corvette, but it's, it's a really neat color. So this is just the standard AT4X. And look at the price. It's already very similar to the ZR2 Bison. Now this is where you get the same option. You can go the standard AT4X wheel or the AEV version. Now the AEV uh, edition for the GMC gives you, you know, the same front bumper, you know, the rear bumper, um, skid plates, gives you the different AEV branded uh, floor liners, uh, stamped steel, you know, bumper. I, I believe they're literally the exact same bumpers. The only thing I, I didn't see mentioned here, I don't see anything specific about the winch. Just look in here. But it does show the winch in the picture. So maybe a little bit more to that later. <clears throat> now, if you look at the interior, this is where I think there's a huge difference. I think the interior of the GMC looks so much better than the Silverado. You just got the bump up on the on the dash area. I think the seats look way better too. I, just my opinion. I, I just think it looks a little more premium. And, and the layout, I think, looks a little more modernized. Um, plus, it, it doesn't have any of the interesting polarizing colors now some people might not like the white piping in the seats but i don't think that actually looks too bad let's see now we go into the different options once again i collected the eight aev uh, uh edition uh for both trucks um let's see as far as the tailgate step lights i don't think i included that on the other truck but I try to include just in general all the same options. I want to see too if it shows for performance here. Yep, it does offer that cold weather steering hose upgrade kit, which I did not select on either truck. Uh, and then the exhaust system is also only for the uh, gasoline options. But also it's kind of interesting seeing all these aftermarket hitch options of Kurt, whether it's just receivers or fifth wheel or locking coupler hitches. But I guess it's kind of nice in a way that if, if you don't want to go and buy this stuff separately from another store, you can just buy it right from the, the dealer or the, the manufacturer. I never would do that, but, you know, teach your own. <clears throat> This uh, kind of breaks down the summary, and this is where I think it's it's kind of interesting if we look at the total price, and we go, you know, look at the total at $104,175. Now compare that to the ZR2, and I'm going to pop that page up. <clears throat> if we look at this, $13,000 more to buy the GMC AT4X over the ZR2 Bison, both AEV editions but $13,000 more. Do I like the AT4X more than the Silverado? I do, but I'm not sure it's worth $13,000. I'm going to look into this more and see if I can figure out some more rationale for why the Sierra is like almost 13% more expensive truck than the um, Silverado. But anyhow, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video, um, but I am going to put an order in for one of these trucks. Thanks for watching.